We've got an image here of a little sparrow taken into my garden. It's really quite badly composed, slightly out of focus. The background is pretty awful as well. Today I'm going to use GIMP and Photoscape X to see if we can smarten it up a little bit. Now then, we're going to start off in Photoscape X. Photoscape's a fantastic software considering it's absolutely free. It's free to download, free to use. There's no, uh, there's no charge whatsoever. Well, the way I like to upload the files is just simply by dragging them in to the software. And as we can see, it's not a great image by any stretch of the imagination. The bird's got its feet cut off. The background is nothing to speak of. It's slightly out of focus and the colors aren't really doing that much good. So what we can try and do to begin with is get some better composition. Make it a Make it a headshot. It's still looking fairly... Composition is better, but it still looks pretty grim, pretty grim. So, we're needing to add a little bit of, a little bit of contrast. And to do that, we'll sharpen it first. Give it a little bit more sharpening. Apply. We could also do with dehazing slightly. That does help a little bit. Apply. Auto levels does improve it again a little bit. Apply. Now then, we have this side of the bird that's maybe a little bit too dark, so if we lighten the shadows, that does bring it up a little bit, but overall brightness could do with coming up a little bit as well. And if we get in, <coughs> to the detail. It's better than it was. A touch of clarity. A little bit of vibrance. I'm not sure whether, no, contrast. There's enough, in fact, we could do with just reducing the contrast a smidgen. There we are, we've got something that's, uh, we can work with, I think. We've got all the fine details in the hair. And considering that is a, quite a crop in, it's a considerable crop in, um, for a, a 12 megapixel image. It was taken with a D300 and there's a, they've only have 12 megapixels so this is cropped in quite substantially and focus is and resolution is pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, what we need to do for the background is put it into GIMP the software GIMP and we can do some photo manipulation in there and uh, we'll try and give it a, a nicer background. 